Well, 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 welcome again. Today is a beautiful day, and it's not like usual. You're growing, you're taking steps, we're moving to the next level. As you can see, welcome to Sir Robert Stanley. 1902 is the year, so we're going back into time. We'll be right back after this. What is business? You know, people call themselves and they say, yo, what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a businessman. Or uh, I am an entrepreneur. I'm a sole proprietor. So many definitions to uh, that. I'm a startup. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a this, I'm a that. But in simple, according to me and my own opinion, and the little knowledge that I have, two cents, wisdom. Business is the exchange of goods and services, right? Back in the day, we used to do barter trade. You know, until the fiat currency came in, we used to trade with gold, silver, bronze. Someone would bring their rice. The other one would give their, you know, their, their beans or their maize in exchange. It's called barter trade. But let's jump into 2023. What's going on? We have currency. The exchange currency, man, dollar, dollar, bill, y'all. That's what I'm talking about, people. So, Stanley, Sir Robert Stanley, in 1902, it's when it was founded in this country. We have images all over. There's history where I'm, I'm just sitting on history. 120-something years of history. Right, the, telling, sitting on history itself. And what better way? to start discussing about history than discussing about Sir Robert Stanley. You know, I believe when they came here, they came with a dream. They came with a vision. They came with an inspiration. They wanted to bring something into this uh, part of the world, East Africa. Because we all know they came from abroad, overseas and all that. But look at this. You see that? Since 1902, my brothers, 1902, boy, oh boy, <laughs> how many years are those? A hundred plus. You see, when you are coming into business, probably you've been into employment and you want to transition into business. There are three things you need to consider. Number one, do you have a hundred year plan? Do you have a vision? Like they had a vision. 120 plus years, and they still exist up to date. Things have come, they've moved and grown. They're still here. The pioneers are dead and long gone. We have images, pictures all over. But vision is the number one reason that moves you to start in the business. Number two, culture. <laughs> culture. What kind of culture do you want to bring in? Because business has to bring some culture. You know, when you come to Sir Robert Stanley, you can feel the culture, the European culture, because that is what they brought. They brought their culture to Africa. And that culture has stood the test of time. I believe there are Kenyans who were born here and started out businesses, but they don't exist today because they didn't bring the culture. They didn't birth the culture. The pioneers are dead and long gone. But the culture was not there. So eventually it was eroded by the next frontier and they died along the way. And number three, before you get into business, do you have the tenacity, the tenacity, the grit, the strength, the power to endure it? Do you have? You know, when you come into business, it's about fighting. It's about fighting into a space that is already occupied. No one is going to give you the space. Nobody's going to be there like, oh, you want to do business? Please welcome in. And a red carpet is rolled for you. You know, they got champagnes they're popping for you to welcome you to the... Nothing like that. Let nobody, I mean, I mean, lie to you. That's going to be a welcoming thing. No, it's not. When you come to business, it's a fight. It's a war. You get a fight, man. I'm telling you, you get a fight. 
It's not going to be easy, but you got to see where you're trying to go. And the first thing that I say is a vision. So if you have a hundred year plan, that vision, that culture will give you the tenacity, the strength, the power, the agility to overcome all the storms of life and anything that is thrown at you. And at the end of the day, just like Sir Robert Stanley, you'll stand the, stand, you'll stand the test of time and you will make it. And your business will exist for another century. You know, today's Business Friday. It's been real. It's been business. And we've been sitting on history itself 120 years. Don't forget. We get our close with this. It's a swag. Saved with amazing grace. And God carries it all. And you can't do it. You can't run a 100 years vision without him. God lives in eternity, and you need to tap into the atmosphere of eternity for you to dream 100 years and 20 like Stanley. And only God can give you the power and the wisdom to implement and put up structures to run all the way to the future and still exist like Sir Robert Stanley. <sighs> I can smell 100 years, 120 years, and it surely smells damn good. And I love it. It's been job. It's been swag. It's been real. It's been awesome. And like always, keep God first. God bless you as you start business. Jeff, out.